What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. So within the past year or so, there have been a lot of new and updated buses that have been announced and or released. The third gen CE, the updated C2, HDX2, the Lion D, BYD, Pegasus, there, there's a lot of them, but one specific one has kind of flown under the radar and with good reason, and that's the one I wanna talk about today the EVT Bumblebee. So I'm sure that a lot of you are asking what the heck is EVT? Why did you put a picture of the green power beast in the thumbnail? Why have, why have I never heard of this? Let me break it down for you. So EVT is a fairly small electric vehicle company that focuses on commercial vehicles. They have some vans and they have a truck and that's about it. So here is a picture of the Bumblebee Wait, no, that, that's not right. That's that's the beast. Sorry. This is the Bumblebee. And I don't think it's that big of a stretch to say that the Bumblebee looks like the beast. They look exactly the same, and that's because they pretty much are. Both companies, Green Power and EVT, use the same kit from China in order to make their buses, which means that they turn out looking exactly the same. Although there's not a lot of information out on what the Bumblebee offers in terms of range and passenger capacity, everything pretty much lines up with what the Beast has. I've only noticed two differences on the exterior, the first of which is the black around the headlights, but I'm sure that's just an option, and when it's removed, it'll look exactly the same as the Beast. The other is the emergency door handle. The Beast has a more standard looking handle, while the Bumblebees is enclosed in this little circular indent, if you will. Otherwise, these two look to be exactly the same, because they are exactly the same. And now I'm sure your questions are shifting to why would EVT use the same exact kit as Green Power, which is a very valid question. Now I'm sure some of you are thinking about the obvious answer here. They're both owned by the same parent company and are just branded different to serve different markets. But that's not the right answer. The answer is actually a bit more complicated than that. Not only is it a little more complicated, but it's just flat out ridiculous. But first we need to talk about Green Power and introduce a couple characters that are involved. First is Philip Oldridge, the former CEO of Green Power. He was with the company since its inception back in 2010 as he founded the company. He ended up leaving the company in summer of 2019 and we'll dive into that in a minute. That means that he was around for the introduction of the Beast. Now I apparently talked about him in this video back in summer of 2017 when the Beast was first announced. Then there's David Oldridge, Philip's brother. David also worked at Green power in some sort of unspecified role. Some articles are saying that he was the CEO, but I think that they're just confusing the two. According to Green Power, David left far before Philip did, back in 2013 to work at a different company that he owned, 42 Design. In 2020, 42 Design filed a lawsuit against Green Power, claiming that they had, quote, misused certain unspecified designs that purportedly belong to 42 Design. A different article states that David, although I think they might have been talking about Philip, had quote, created and held confidential and proprietary information regarding the designs, methods, and procedures to manufacture three prototype buses. During his time as CEO, he allegedly was helping competitors and then entered manipulative trades after he was fired. Now one would think that the company he was working with was 42 Design, as it was owned by his brother, and seemingly had the information on the prototype buses, possibly the beast being in there. There's a slight problem with that theory though, as 42 Design was dissolved in 2015 and reinstated in June of 2020, and this lawsuit brought by Green Power happened in December of 2019. However, according to the SEC, Philip was working with EVT to build its business, competing products, and unfairly compete with Green Power. But just to make things a little more confusing, it turns out that 42 Design is owned by Envirotech, aka EVT. So basically, the long story short is that the CEO of Green Power got fired for presumably helping EVT get into the bus market. Apparently, when he was fired, he decided to manipulate the stock prices of Green Power in order to lower them, and then said he would, quote, burn Green Power to the ground. So what happens after that? At some point, he gets appointed the CEO of EVT and decides that they need to enter into the school bus market. And what better way to burn Green Power to the ground than by using the same exact kit making virtually no changes to the bus, and then slapping your own name on it. 
absolutely ridiculous. And might I add, at the time of recording, EVT only has one small section on their website dedicated to the Bumblebee. I don't think this company ever had any intention of entering the school bus market until Philip came along. And this is just a completely different level of drama. At one point you're fine, and then you start doing some shady stuff, and then they fire you, and then you just take the existing product, put your name on it, and call your own just to get back at someone. Okay. Now, apparently EVT just sold 25 buses with six going to districts in Arkansas, which is where they're being made, and the remaining 19 are going to districts in Texas. Honestly, I don't see EVT lasting long at all. And the reason for that is not necessarily because the bus is electric, but because they're just taking Green Power's product and then slapping their name on it and trying to compete with Green Power when Green Power already has an established name connections, and it's in the industry already. Two of the biggest districts in the country, LAUSD and Clark County School District, have beasts in their fleet. And while beasts are still only a small fraction of the market, I've been seeing more pop up across the country. Now, unless there is a considerable price difference, which there won't be because it's the exact same thing, or some sort of major change or feature that EVT is hiding about the Bumblebee, which again, there won't be because it's the exact same thing. EVT has no advantages over green power, meaning that I don't think that this company is going to last very long. Now, if EVT had made some sort of completely different product that was not already in use on the market, then sure, EVT might have a chance. You know, electric vehicles are huge right now, whether we want them to be or not. But to essentially do all this just to get back at someone is... it's ridiculous. I think... EVT is going to just be a, a side note at some point. And it's been a while since this was initially announced, and there's been virtually no updates on this that I've been able to find. So I, I have no idea what the heck is going on with this company. But yeah, like I said, it's kind of a weird little side story, ridiculous. And I am interested to see if they are going to actually have some changes, which there won't be or if they do end up making something completely different that I would actually be interested in. I don't know. This It's just a weird little side story that I really wanted to share. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you have any other buses or topics that you want me to talk about, let me know in the video request form where you can also put stuff for bus stuff for sale, lots of lots, the picture videos, or any one of my videos. And with that, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical white button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down here where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or the bumblebee is going to take over the country. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy in a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And thanks for watching.